So I had a little bit of time. I figured I'd kill watching one of these movies on Hulu this time called uh, Black Ops. Now the, the write-up was something like a team of special operatives works their way up a never-ending staircase while fleeing a terrible evil. And I'm like, okay, this could be interesting, right? Some kind of Twilight Zone thing. And that's kind of what it is, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to run down characters and plot too much, except to say that what happens is there's this little Merc team. I don't know exactly who they're working for. That doesn't matter. They come across this... They're working, you know, I don't know, they're working for somebody in Eastern Europe, I think. I don't, I'm not a linguistic expert. I don't know what they were speaking. I'm guessing it's got something to do with, you know, Balkan thing, whatever. They end up taking out this team. There's a prisoner in a tent, a civilian, in a rather cold-blooded, nasty move. This Merc team, or the leader, the leader of the Merc team, orders another one of the Mercs to shoot her in the head. And turns out that was a big mistake. They end up going into this other building on this flight of stairs and... They keep going up and up and up and up and up. Where's the top of these stairs? The floors below them start basically disappearing. Anybody that goes down there gets attacked by the ghost of this uh, person they just killed who did warn them, don't go down. Turns out that this person is like nicknamed the prophetess of death or something like that. You know, the local um, Baba Yaga or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And so what happens is they just end up going up these stairs, one flight after the other, send a couple people down, they freak out, they run down, oh crap, bad idea, they die. They finally get to some more doors. It turns out when they go out there, they wind up back outside where this raid is about to take place just before, and they're basically given the chance to make it right. And this happens several times, basically like some kind of weird fucked up Groundhog Day thing going on, right? Every time they come to a thing, okay, we're going to fix it this time, and they go and try, and they fail to keep this uh, prisoner from getting shot. Predictably, they end up, you know, they finally fix it, you know, but it, of course it comes at a terrible cost. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's not a great movie. It's a good movie, though. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this movie, Black Ops, I'm going to give it a 2 point. Eight. I'm gonna give it 2.8. I could go more, but I feel like you know it was a, it's a creative premise. I was expecting more of a Twilight Zone type of vibe, and they did give that with the Groundhog Day stuff. But a lot of it relied on the war movie slash action movie stuff going on. You know, as you watch them each time try to fix this thing, you see things that happened in the very first time. You see things that happen, you're like, oh, that was actually them on this iteration doing that. So there's like some weird, this is not the, you know, uh, end game time travel. This is like something different where each time they go back, now there's another version of them in this, you know, area. And yeah, I don't know. What did I say I was going to give this? I'm gonna, oh, let's, let's go 2.9. I'll give this a 2.9 for this movie because I think it warrants a viewing. It's not all that great acted. Some of the writing is pretty stilted. It gets a little violent at times, you know, graphic anyway. Yeah, okay. You're in that war movie. That's so what I'm saying. They kind of, you know, lean on that war movie um, vibe real heavily. 2.9. If you got some time to kill, go watch Black Ops on Hulu or wherever you can find it. If you like this video, you like this channel, please give this video a like, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. If anybody's watching, please let me know you're watching. Just give it a like, leave a comment. Hey, it's cool. Hey, it's not. Tell me why. Thanks, guys, for watching. This has been Sci Fi Review.